The prevalence of cancer within black communities in the country is a pressing health concern from cervical and breast to prostate cancers and the limited access to health care facilities impact awareness and treatment. 33-year-old Minky Maine from Libotwani village in the northwest survived breast cancer. It was while pursuing her tertiary studies in 2010 that it was detected and it remains the scariest moment of her life. I went to a government hospital whereby they were able to help me to remove the breast lump that I had on my left uh, breast. The process is scary, yes, but you just have to be brave because you want to, you want to be helped and you want to survive. Mutupi Malibye, also from the same village, initiated a non-profit organization to help his community after losing four family members to cancer. The Department of Health they bring all their materials, uh, health professionals or practitioners, and then we work together with them. People are now starting to test, and then after the test, everyone will get the, the immediate result. And those who have been affected, we make sure that we coordinate uh, their health issues with the Department of Health uh, so that they can able to get uh, quick attention. However, a study published by Vets University scientists may provide some hope for early treatment. The scientists discovered two genetic variants linked to breast cancer in black South African women, which they say is the first to have been done in African women living on the continent. With using genetic data to be able to uh, predict whether someone would be at higher risk of developing breast cancer would be very, very helpful. So we do this. So by doing um, a genome-wide association study, you identify a, a number of genetic mutations that could be linked to high risk of developing breast cancer. And um, by identifying these high-risk mutations, you'll be able to tell someone, okay, you're you're at a higher risk of developing breast cancer. You need to be doing screenings a lot more often and doing going for mammograms a lot more often than the average person. Breast cancer remains the second most common cancer in the country and the most common in women globally. According to the World Health Organization, 2.3 million women were diagnosed with breast cancer in 2022 and 670,000 succumbed to the disease globally. The WHO's Global Breast Cancer Initiative says it aims to reduce global breast cancer mortality by 2.5% per year thereby averting 2.5 million deaths globally between 2020 and 2040. With these staggering figures, vets researchers say their study may assist in detecting new risk factors waiting to be uncovered, especially in far-flung communities like this one. Mulimo Motwa, SABC News, Libotwane, Northwest.